All right, hey everyone. Uh, since I have no video ideas and I'm not gonna be doing a mod showcase because I don't like to make that kind of content because it's lazy, um, I'm going to be ranking all of the Sonic soundtracks if you couldn't tell immediately by the thumbnail, title of the video, this right here. I don't know, I don't know why I need to uh, introduce it. Oh, I just noticed that the fourth one should say Sonic 4. Okay, good to know. Wait, then. With, uh, oh, okay. So, I'm gonna have some really controversial takes, and I'm gonna have some really safe takes. Um, so, please acknowledge that this is my opinion. Um, and you can have your own opinions. Go into the comments. Go rant at me saying how wrong my opinions are. Or how good your opin my opinions are and how underrated my opinions are. Uh, whatever. I don't care. Just please, for the life of me, do not attack each other for each other's opinions. This should be a message that is spread throughout the entire Sonic community, especially with Frontiers on the Horizon. But, okay. Here we go. I'm going to start off with a relatively safe take. So... This is the U.S. cover of Sonic CD, which means that it's the U.S. soundtrack. If you do not know already, Sonic CD has two separate soundtracks for its JP and U.S. slash international release releases. Um, I think most people can agree, CD U.S. is very watered down. It's nothing compared to the original JP and most tracks just aren't done as well. Um, maybe it's not worthy of C. I think it is. Especially with stuff like the Game Over screen. It's just not what Sonic CD is supposed to be. Um, like, I don't know really what else to say. It's just, it's watered down and it doesn't feel as great. You can still totally enjoy it. And I think some tracks from it are severely underrated, such as uh, Start of Speedway, Bad Future. Um, but that's one song amidst a lot, a lot of other horrible tracks, such as the Game Over screen. So I'm going to go with the controversial take now. Sonic 4, as they say that fourth one should say Sonic 4. It does what it needs to. Um, I'm assuming that this includes both Sonic 4s because I don't see episode 2 here. So in that case, it does what it needs to. Um, actually probably not A, probably B. It does what it needs to, again. It's a little overblown on the synth, but considering it's not too bad in episode two. Like, episode two has really good bangers, like the Metal Sonic boss fights, um, Sylvania Castle Zone, and other stuff. Very good, very good tracks. I think the first one, eh, not as great, probably C tier, but the second one's very good. I'd say A tier. So putting them together puts them into B tier. Duh. Um, that's a controversial one. A lot of people would put this as bottom of the barrel, absolutely terrible. And so, speaking of safer takes, well done. I I think this was obvious. Sonic Mania's soundtrack is perfect. It does literally everything. It encompasses the classics whilst also being more modern. It honors the originals whilst also bringing in new things like the old remixes like act one you have a just carbon copy remix of the originals if there are if there is an original i mean well yeah there is an original but then you have the act twos for the remix tracks and it's something completely new some great innovative idea and that's everything you want from a Sonic soundtrack. And then also the original levels. Jesus. Press Garden, Studiopolis. 
It's Studiopolis, by the way. And if you're saying Hydros, Hydro City, then you're wrong because you're pronouncing it Studiopolis, so it should be Hydrocity. Anyways, um, the original tracks are also amazing. They fit the level perfectly. They're not as good as the remixes because. There's something new instead of basing it off of something that happened originally and making it better. But it still lives up to that name. And because of that, Mania is it. And hot take. Oh boy, Sonic 06. Hold your pitchforks for a second. Please. Put them down. Hold your torches, hold your pitchforks, put them down. Let me explain. It's great. The soundtrack's great. If it's only Sonic's levels, and only Shadow's levels, and only Silver's levels. Wait. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> no, okay. If it's only specific main parts, like Crisis City, do you think of the part that plays during the tornado? or the part that plays when you just enter the game. I thought so. The main memorable parts of the tracks, great, amazing, S tier. Everything else though, they don't work this way. Like, Crisis City is a great example. Like, you have the great main riff, but then you have the watered down tornado section with whatever the hell it's trying to do. Kingdom Valley, great main riff. It's high speed session never made sense to me. Wave Ocean, Wait, that's a bad example. Wave, wave, wave. Radical Highway, it's just the, the, the speed, sped up version is just, well, the high speed session version is just sped up. Why not make something original? And I know that I like, I don't like the original, like high speed section tracks as much, except for like Wave Ocean. But why Radical Train, the best track in the game? Um, and End of the World, his world is way too overused, I'm sorry. If you're gonna have a main theme that is sort of used, use it like Adventure, Adventure 2, Unleashed, Forces. Use it as like a light motif and not blaring in your face every 10 seconds it's not i don't like it um but overall very good soundtrack it's just harshly overrated and i think people need to look at it in a different way it's sort of like how 06 is being done today like people saying that project 06 is saving the game oh my god it's the best thing to happen since sliced bread now it's not. It's still the horrible game it was back in 2006. Okay. Safe take. Let's see. No, that, that'd be a hot take. Now, this soundtrack has been slammed on by musicians, but praised by the Sonic soundtrack. By the Sonic fan base. I'm both. And I like this soundtrack. It feels distinctly Shadow the Hedgehog 05. Like, he doesn't know what he is. The music encompasses that. When he thinks he figures it out, he knows. And, like, the songs encompass that. And especially something like the main theme, I Am All of Me, I still think that's his main, that's Shadow's main theme, not All Hail Shadow. Um, it's a great theme, but I think even by, this is something deserving of its own video at some point, which I'm sure I'll do, but why is I Am All Of Me not the main theme of Shadow, and All Hail Shadow is, when Shadow's portrayed in a third person view in All Hail Shadow, but a first person view in I Am All Of Me. I'm just saying. But, the, the tracks, very good, they encompass the grungy rock thing with the darker side, the dark side, and it's thematically fitting. But, it also is 
not as good as you want to be. Like, you have very good tracks, and then you have you know, the final level. I can't remember the name of it for the life of me. That, that thing sucks. Like, compare it was Stopolis to the final level. Not Devil Doom, because that's I am all of me, but the, the thing before that, I forgot what it is. Something in the art, but whatever. So the cock, the black cock. Um, yeah, it, it's good, not, not amazing, amazing top tier stuff. And for the hot tip, again, put your pitchforks and torches down. Let me explain. Nobody knows what they're talking about when they're talking about the soundtrack. Nobody. I've seen nobody ever make a good take about how this soundtrack works. You have people saying, oh, well, the piano chords in Tropical Resort are off-key. No, they're not. You, they're just played in a way that you don't know. I don't know the exact terminology. They're in key. Planet Wisp. Oh, why is it all synthy? Because, unlike, it's not getting hard. The original doesn't get harsh. It doesn't, at all. I'm sorry to say. Oh, wait, there's not colors on this. Oh, wait, no, there is. It just, Planet Wisp does not get harsh. I don't know what you're talking about. There's one second, maybe. But it lasts like that. That's it. That's all you get. There's nothing else. And I think, especially since when you're thrown into Planet Wisp, there's already machinery everywhere, and it doesn't stop. The synth works more, especially since we've established through tracks, like forces, and, well, pretty much ever since Unleashed, that synth is Eggman. Then it makes sense. Plus, it sounds fine, okay? You all just are sensitive ears. Like, the thing I'm seeing with a, a lot is that the Sonic community cannot handle high notes, when it's distinctively the meta era, I hate that term. Like, you have a lot, I'll get to this later, but you have a lot of people bashing Forces trap soundtrack for having high notes. And I'm like, okay, but there's this high note in Adventure 2 or Adventure that's probably higher. And you guys weren't complaining then. But I like it. I think a lot of people bash on it for no reason. And say all you want about the business choices and whether it should have happened or not. I think what we got was amazing. It, it improves on the original in every single way. Hot take now for cold take. I'm happy this that Riders is getting some attention. But what I'm most happy about is that people aren't saying that it's an amazing soundtrack. It, it's cool, okay? But you can only think of three tracks. Ever. Like, it's unmemorable because it doesn't do too much. It doesn't diversify itself that much. And... Especially when you have stuff like Tournament Edition that replaces the original tracks, I don't think... And people are, like, praising it still and not pointing that out as a critique. I think it just goes to show how much Ryder's soundtrack is not memorable. It doesn't do too much. I totally love remixes or something of the sort, but it just doesn't do enough. Uh, okay. Time for the hot take. I'll get to you later. Um, let's see. Oh, 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 oh god. Okay, you know what I'm gonna say about those pitchforks and torches, right? The thing about Adventure 2 is that it's good when it's Sonic. And when Sonic is about 25% of the game and the rest isn't, I don't know what to say to achieve the other tracks was good. Like, all of Team Dark's tracks are subpar compared to Hero. Like, 
I don't get why people are acting like this is the best soundtrack when you have tracks like Crazy Gadget. Um, the Shadows theme. Uh, I forget what it's named. Uh, throw it all away. Throw it all away. That's what it was. Um, I'm a Spy. That song's awful. It's much better than Team Sonic Racing, which is not on here, surprisingly, because I don't know why. It should have been. It's a great soundtrack. Um, but, I just, I cannot say with any part of me that doesn't feel wrong that this is the greatest soundtrack. It, the Sonic's stuff is great, amazing. Shadows, eh. Tails, meh. Eggman, uh, it's okay. Like, Weapons Bed is the best track, and that's the only really one I can remember. And then you have cheesy rap for Rouge and Knuckles that doesn't work at all. Like, I just don't get it. Or cheesy rap for Knuckles and then cheesy ballads for Rouge. It just doesn't work at all. So, good ideas, great concepts. One character gets it right, the rest are subpar. And even though those subpar tracks are somewhat good, if the only part of your soundtrack that is really good is a character that shows up 25% of the time, like, only 25% of the time, I cannot say in good faith that this is an amazing top tier soundtrack. Cold take. A lot of people. I don't see this soundtrack being praised or hated. So, Secret Rings, it's okay. Now, what I don't like is that it tries to incorporate stuff from Sonic R, in that every single track pretty much has vocals. And thematically, maybe, musically it doesn't work. Like, Evil Foundry's okay, Seven Rings in Hand is done better by the remix of Crush 40, and the only time I like Crush 40's remixes is when they remix their own songs. Like, say what you want about All Hail Shadow. The Magnify version is better. Um, Sonic Boom's better by uh, whoever did that. I forget the name. It was... I forget. Okay. But... It, it's okay. It thematically works, it just doesn't musically work. And musically, everything should come first. Thematically, no. Um, hot take. This soundtrack's garbage, okay? I... It just doesn't do anything right. Seaside Hill, nothing sea-related. It's just... It's just a Sonic Tales and Knuckles track from SA2 combined into one thing. Not anything about Seaside. It doesn't even work that well as a song either. Uh, Frog Forest is the only good, like, semi-good track you can think of. Like, Tank Castle? No. I can't. I just... I can't. I can't. M maybe I'll move it up to C. But I, I just can't with this soundtrack. It's not good. It's not good enough for me to consider it even a tier uh, I mean, of course, I gotta get this out of the way. I should have gotten this out of the way in the, the beginning. D tier and Sonic tier soundtrack is still like S tier in mu in like video game soundtracks. This is still in comparison to like other games, like say. I don't know, very completely wild, random example, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, uh, Eyes of Heaven. That's the first, thing I could, first soundtrack I could think of off the top of my head. That's like a B tier in terms of, or a B or C tier in terms of music sound, like video game soundtracks, and then Sonic CD US is like A tier. So. I'm talking to all of these about, like, Sonic soundtracks related. Like, these are all somewhat good to listen to. I just don't think that... 
a lot of, of what am I saying? Um, it's just these are ranked by Sonic soundtrack worthy, so D is still A and so on and so forth. Um, anyways, back to uh, Heroes. It's just it, it it tries to do what Adventure Two did right, then screws it up and it's like imagine this. Adventure 2 is carrying a baton. It's like running a baton race. It hands the baton off to Heroes. Heroes fumbles, trips, and sends the baton to the moon. That's what I'm thinking of the soundtrack. Um, cold take. It, this soundtrack's amazing. It thematically works. Every single soundtrack is hand catered to what they're... What the real world inspiration is from, like, um, Dragon Road, definitely Chinese music, like, Chinese-inspired music, Cool Edge, since this is the Arctic, and there isn't really anybody there, so you don't have, like, a cultural thing there, this is Sonic's head, it's Sonic, it's what's happening in Sonic right now, uh, rooftop run. It feels European. So on and so forth. And they're all a joy to listen to. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's all I gotta say. Unleash is amazing. Everything. Um, generation. I'm just gonna go, I'm not gonna bother about hot cold takes anymore. Um, generations. It's okay. It, it has great tracks i just think some of them could have been done better especially classic sonic like i could say with good confidence every modern stage soundtrack outside of chemical plant is great amazing classic sonic i cannot say the same for first three acts amazing um speed highway is fine escape from the city is amazing uh but then at, at around uh, Seaside Hill, everything starts to take a drop. Um, in terms of classic Sonic. And Time Eater's an off track, but that's just one bad thing. So, it's okay. I'm. It, it's great. It's great. Not okay. It's great. But I think I could have done things a little better. Um, Colors Original. Now, I'm not going to go too far into this. It just does everything it needs to. So, see my Colors Ultimate stuff if you want, like, what I think about it. It's just it's just great. It does what it needs to. Lost World. Let's see. I'll put this in A. Mm. Top B. Um, the tracks are fine. Some are great. Some are eh. Like, you have the pop, the big, big, big ones. Like, Windy Hill. Uh, honeycomb Highway, Sea Bottom Segway, and then you have um, the Snow Level. Oh my God, I cannot remember the names of these for the life of me. But you have really, really great tracks, and then you have the meh tracks, and it's a 50/50. So oh, I'm putting it in the middle. Um, forces. Yeah, yeah. This is this is gonna be named if this goes viral. Um, this soundtrack is so 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 great, so amazing. Oh my god! Like a lot of people are like, if should this video go viral, I don't expect it to, but people are gonna be attacking me saying, oh my god. Classic Sonic, though. No, his tracks are amazing. You just have bad ears, like, like Faded Hill. What are you talking about? Oh my God, my ears are bleeding. No, it's an amazing track. Like, if you peel away the one, maybe, eh, part of the song, you have something amazing, and nobody respects this track as much as it should be. This is an amazing track. It's the best thematically fitting track ever. Like. Each single instrument is a character. 
and it beautifully makes sense and the soundtrack itself sounds amazing i could i could go every day in my life listening to a song to a track from sonic forces i'd tell you what it is and i'd listen to it and i'd never get bored this is an amazing soundtrack and i hope it gets the love it deserves someday um black knight it's good thematically, not as great um, musically. It's definitely an underrated gem, but I think it's not S tier worthy or even A tier worthy. Maybe like bottom of A, but it's 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 fine. I'm not gonna go too much into depth because how long is this video? Yeah, 25 minutes. So I should probably start shortening things up a little. Um, Sonic One. It makes sense that this is C tier because this is the original, so you can make the argument that they should have had the most ideas, but at the same time, compared to everything else, this is the first, and they're trying to keep it basic, and for what it is, it's worth it. Like, ugh, my phone's ringing, but whatever. Um, like, it. Green Hill Zone's fine, and then, like, everything works. It's just not memorable and not musically as great as it could be. I'm gonna go answer my phone. Give me a second. Alright, I'm back, and I have no idea what I was talking about, so I'm just gonna move on. Um, it was probably something about Sonic 1, but yeah. Summarize, it's good. I think it does what it needs to. But it's not as amazing as other things here, and yeah. Rider Zero Gravity soundtrack is by far the worst on this list. Like, I I cannot get why people like Ungravitified. It sucks. It sucks. It's not great. It's not good. It's not even decent. It's just it's trying to do what Riders did right, but then make it all techno and like that feel of zero gravity, and it doesn't work. It doesn't. It just doesn't. If you're gonna make it all techno and stuff like that, do something like Forces with Synth instead of whatever you're trying to do with Rider Zero Gravity. I don't get it. Um, yeah. Free Riders. This is an underrated soundtrack. My god, it's amazing. You have... It's a small soundtrack, but it's an amazing soundtrack. Sure, they use, they use like one track from the original Riders, but that's like okay, I guess. It's not that bad, and plus you wouldn't be... If that was such a huge issue, then you'd be banging on Generations and Mania's doors to shut up. Um, but it's great. I think it improves on Riders in every way and completely ditches Zero Gravity, which is amazing. Um, two. Now, the thing with the original three soundtracks, or, yeah, original three. I'm not gonna include CD in there because it's CD quality. They're very much limited by their hardware, so you have you'll have like remixes for stuff like Green Hill much later down the line with stuff like Generations that really show how much greater these tracks could be. But at least uh, they're still amazing. Don't get me wrong. It's just compared to everything else on this list, they're very they're not as amazing and very much limited by their hardware. So I'm not blaming it. It, it's just, this has great songs, I just don't think it deserves to be like A or S tier because of how hard work it is. You can tell that some tracks are just not as great. Um, three Knuckles, this one I'd place in low A. Now, with all that said about with all that I said about Sonic 2, this is very much breaking the boundaries, and I think MJ helped a lot with that. Or Brad Buxter, I think, specifically. I don't think MJ actually composed any of the pieces. And when, like, I think com that was found out in, like, a recent interview, he, like, he was brought on, but then he handed off all the work to his producer, Brad Buxter, and that was it. So, these tracks were. They're, they're amazing. And they all are very visually, uh, auditorily distinct. Ugh, I'm getting my stage tier list 
mixed up with my music tier list. Um, they're all great. I don't think it's like S tier be due to the hardware limitations and some tracks are not as memorable. Like, tell me with a non- tell me straight to my face right now, unironically, that you are going to go back to Carnival Night Zones tracks and say, these are the best thing in Sonic. No, they're not. Um, but with that being said, CDJP is a amazing soundtrack. This thing's amazing. Uh, it breaks past the hardware limitations in 1994. Uh, three, I forget when it was released. Um, because of the CD quality, you don't have to worry about like sound chips anymore. And that's and that's what makes it sound great. It takes what the classics ideas had and puts it past hardware limitations and stuff of the sort, which makes it sound amazing. Um, and on to our final one, Sonic Adventure. I'm going to place this in the mystical tier of S. Um, now, I think a common complaint is the overuse of guitar and how everything sounds not like Sonic, or not like each individual character, but just Sonic. But in that terms, you don't know what you're talking about. Like, sure, Adventure 2's tracks are more auditorily distinct from each other and make more sense for their characters, but Adventure is more consistent in that regard. That's why I didn't like putting... That's why I didn't put Adventure 2 as high as S, because what it takes in exchange for storytelling, it takes... auditory... Like, it takes away the actual goodness of the tracks in exchange for storytelling which is something i don't want i don't this is something i think the adventure does well it makes each track sound better in exchange for less storytelling which fits sonic because this is sonic's adventure this isn't tails adventure which was an awful game but this isn't, like, a spin-off game for somebody else. This isn't Shadow the Hedgehog. This isn't Tails Adventure. This is Sonic, and therefore, each character interacts with Sonic in some way, shape, or form. Therefore, each track has Sonic in it, which makes sense. And then, from that, everything sounds amazing. So, yeah, the, this is my final tier list. I, I'm probably just spewing out nonsense that this is going to take way too long to edit. But, yeah, uh, kill me if you want, I guess. Uh, I'll try to convince this as much as I can. Uh, this probably was just a whole bunch of nonsense, like my essay, like, with my tier list of essay 2 stages I did a while ago and deleted that because it was awful. Um... Track here, list. There. This is it. Um, back on me all you want for what I've said in this video because it's all just a whole bunch of nonsense, I guess. This is a series about a blue hedgehog and I'm rating its tracks. But yeah, uh, this is great. I, this is my final thing and if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. If you cancel me on Twitter, you cancel me on Twitter. I could not care less. Uh, so, bye, I guess.